Hey, so what is up guys, this is Poto here, and some of you guys have been asking for my mage specs, so I'm just going to be briefly showing it to you, um, maybe demonstrate one or two combos, but then, you know, to be honest, combos aren't really effective anymore in any, anything else besides duels. So, that being said, um, it's just going to be a very brief video, it's not going to go too in-depth what you want, it's just going to be talking about the basic premise behind it. So, one sec, no, not right now, not right now. All right, there we go. That being said, um, yeah, I'll just show you what it is basically. So then, this is the ice tree. This is the fire tree. You can take a brief look at it. Fire tree is basically getting up to silence because that's really, really good. It's probably one of the best spells a mage has. And also for this, you want to get meteor. That's the whole premise behind it. You want to get frost phantom up, and you want to put down permafrost and begin spamming AOE spells. And it actually does a really considerable amount of damage. Even I was surprised how much damage it does at first. Um, I didn't think it would be that much damage at all. I didn't think it would do more damage than fire, but apparently, but it does by a pretty large margin. So those of you asking me what the best fire spec is, I mean, that's kind of like asking what's the best spec of a tree that is pretty much mediocre in PvP right now. The reason why it's mediocre is that, well, it does like no damage. It, it seriously does like no damage. They nerfed fire damage way too much, so now all the good fire mages are turning ice. And this is this is just, just a basic premise of it. I'll just show you a few combos. You wanna usually start it with lightning because that's just a very cool cooldown. Cast permafrost, th there's gonna be a lot of lag. Cast frost bolt, get activate Neve, cast ice meteor, and then you can cast another frost bolt, blah blah blah, blah and then end with a sleep. That's just a very simple combo. You can extend it with frozen mind. You want to use Frozen Mind when all the, or you want to just do combos in general. Um, once you see people bunch up, because keep in mind the Ice Meteor is not not a single target spell; it's an AOE spell. And uh, if you're hitting 9K on four people at the same time, that's a lot of damage, and it can win games sometimes just hitting multiple people with with Frost Phantom Meteors. And it's very hard for healers, especially this update, to catch up. And um, regardless, and especially it's harder to catch up now that um. Call it Blaze Prison is now, you know, oh, that's a really nice crit. Blaze Prison, that was from my fan, by the way, not from the, um, not from the spell itself. But Blaze Prison is an insta cast, which makes it another form of interrupt besides Cyclone, which is very, very powerful. So, regardless, and uh, let's see, QQ. Anyways, um, Stone Armor is just there just for defense, even though no one really should be attacking you. It's just because I had an extra point left over. And then, um, let's see what else. You can put 4 points to Neve and 2 points to Rock Mass. I just put 3 three because I only have level 3 gems. So I'm a little squishier and I want the extra defense. But um, besides that, that's pretty much it. Um, a, common t a common mistake you see people you doing is constantly spamming you know, Ice Meteor. The problem with that is that you want to spam it during Neve and during Frost Phantom. Because if you do it outside, then it's just, just kind of like wasting a spell. You want to save it until Frost Phantom. That's when it does the most amount of damage. And also, you want to save it for Neve and not a red ping. You want to save it for Neve because um, that's when the cast time is a little shorter. But keep in mind, there's no way you can put 5 out of 5. This is, as for all I'm concerned, this is pretty much the best spec right now. Because it's one of the only specs that's available. I mean, you can see some variation. Maybe they changed a few points here. Change a few points here. You know, maybe they switch up how they want to get the fire tree. Honestly, they switch up the fire tree a little bit. But ultimately, the thing that's going to define is that you want Blaze Prison, you want Neve, and then you want Ice Beater. And this is by far the most important thing because Frost Bolt, Frost Blast is a 40 second cooldown now. So if you don't have this, you're going to have a lot of trouble controlling people. Knights Mages don't honest, honestly don't have that much control anymore. Which is kind of sad. So, anyways, for my gear setup, this is it. Um, the vanity, obviously, and then this is the new, um, the new PVP necklace. I'm working on the cloak now because I want that. And then these are two flame angers for spell hit because I don't want my spells to get resisted. And this, this is really important, in my opinion, for fours. Um, whenever they get hit, hit by ice meteor, all healing they receive is reduced. No, is reduced by 20%. And that's kind of important because if you hit four of them, for um, four of them with an ice meter, that means you pretty much reduce the entire team's healing by 20%, which is a lot because not only will they, will they be taking a lot of damage, they'll have trouble healing it back up. So, anyways, all level three gems um, because I'm not paying for level four gems right now. Maybe in the future, 
uh, just because I have so many runes right now. 150 free runes, 800 other free runes, and then this is what I have here. One level 4 spell crit because I got that in the dungeon. And I use the fan of prophecy just because, you know, as you can see, actually there's a pretty considerable amount of damage. It crits for 4k, and then, you know, ice meteor, you can hit ice meteor, hit for 9k. You know, if you have better gear, you can easily hit for 10k, 11k. So anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, you know, I won't be, I'm not going too in-depth because I'm not sure myself how to be entirely successful and you can do well with an ice mage but the only issue wrong one if you look at the twos you don't see too many ice mages wait top players you don't see very many ice mages you see a lot of monks and a lot of warriors a few archers here and there but not too many mages and the reason why is because mages they're not bad but they're kind of outclassed more or less and then, um, you know, the two top are my friends, you know, there's crumbs down here and there's their skull at the very top. But I mean, they're like, they're like the best mages. And even then, even then, they have trouble, do, they have trouble with, you know, the higher end people just because of the class differences. DPS warriors are, are in many ways just like ice mages, lacking the AoEs to do more reliable damage and have, much, have a much more reliable stun. And healers are really, really good right now. Anyways, um, yep, that's the end of the video, guys. I'll probably do a more in-depth guide later on. You know how exactly you should go about getting the combos. How about how you should exactly go about you know doing damage. But as of now, that's just a brief overview. So um, tell me, guys, what you think about the spec. And um, if you don't like the spec, then I don't know which other spec you're gonna be using because every single top mage which is not that many because a lot of the other classes are a lot better now. Um, pretty much all the top mages are doing 11 into fire, 26 into ice, and with ice meteor. And some of them have different playstyles, some of them don't go for DPS, they go for control, which I think is, is slightly silly, you know, it's workable, but you know, it's not nearly as effective just because all of our cooldowns are longer, and others, um, you know, just opt for pure DPS with no control, which I think is also silly because how, how the hell are you going to get any kind of DPS off if you're not controlling your opponents. But anyways, um, that's the end of the video, guys, you know, once again, quick combo, you can do permafrost, this, frost bolt. And then I just messed up there, yeah. You're supposed, normally you're supposed to get a cyclone off, that's what I forgot. You're supposed to get a cyclone off at the end of the second frostbolt and then sleep them. But that's just for duels. And even then, it doesn't. I don't think it works for duels any, anyways anymore. But regardless, that's just a quick overview of my spec. So tell me guys what you think. Tell me guys if you disagree, if you agree. Or tell me guys if you found this helpful.